Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Joe. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do know me, hi, how, how's everybody doing? Hope everything is going well. If you just stumbled on me, um, I do a lot of seasonal decorating, more seasonal decorating, I think, than anything else. But um, I do, every once in a while, you know, put up other kind of videos. But uh, it is now we're moving into fall, and um, I do, uh, um, you know, I do do some DIYs, uh, not to the extent that, you know, like the, the real DIYers that you see on YouTube do. I do some things here and there just to enhance some of the... Uh, my decorating ideas. Um, as we move into the next couple of weeks, I will begin uh, decorating my um, house for fall, and um, I, I'll, you know, I'm going to start getting out my uh, my bins of stuff. Um, my goal is always to purchase as little as I can. Uh, I try to recycle as much as I can things that I've that I have uh, or things that I see that I could possibly use to infuse into my decoration. I'm not one of those that believes in you know going out and and just buying new things every year um, I can't do that I, I really don't want to do that I have a lot of cherished um, pieces that bring back a lot of memories especially during the holidays so you'll see as we move through this series the full series that I will be using some things that Marianne that's my wife for those of you who don't know me and I have uh, you know acquired over our years of our marriage and also some things that, that belong to our parents, which are very dear to us. And, um, you know, when we look at them, uh, we think of all the great times that we've had, all the great family gatherings that we've had, and so on. So I will be infusing a lot of those things as well, because that, that's what makes, you know, all of this uh, stuff special. So in uh, this uh, little video what I'm going to be showing you is I had some four by fours in the garage and they were there forever and they were just sitting there so I decided hey maybe I can use these to make some pumpkins for the um, my fall decorating so you'll see I, I did use them for pumpkins and I also made some acorns with them that they're not so great but uh, you know they are what they are so I hope you do enjoy this little video and how I put it together and like always uh, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of this give me a thumbs up if you like it you know it helps uh, my channel grow and it, it needs to grow it's been kind of stagnant for a while now and um, I'd really appreciate it you know drop me a comment tell me what you think just to say hello I like hearing from you and uh, you know seeing what you have to say oh you know before I forget I keep forgetting to say it uh, my friend Regina hey Regina if you're watching this um, she stated that she can't hear me on the video so if you're having a problem uh, hearing me please drop me a comment about that because when I edit my video and then when I watch it on YouTube my voice sounds absolutely fine the volume sounds fine but she consistently has that problem so let me know and um, and then I'll let Regina know that if it's only her computer or if it's if it's uh, my fault okay everybody so today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be making uh, pumpkins and acorns out of a 4x4 four four. so this is a 4x4 four four for those of you that don't understand what that means and it's just um, it's actually not 4 inches but they call it a 4x4 four four. it's like 3.5 by 3.5 by 3.5 by anyway 4x4 four four. some people call them railroad ties um, uh, I don't know they have a bunch of names but anyway they're readily available at stores like Home Depot and Lowe's and whatnot. And I had these, I have a, a few of them left over and they've been just sitting in the garage. So I decided I was going to make some pumpkins out of them. And um, what I'm going to do is I actually, you know how I always do a plan for those of you that know me. So I actually figured out where I want to put them, how many I need and what size. And basically I'm going to be doing some that are 11 inches, some that are 9, 7, uh, four five and eight and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out using my um, measuring tape of my desired length and then I'm gonna cut them with the chop saw okay so I took out my table saw here I have it on the ground I'm in the yard because it makes a mess and I set my blade at a 30 degree angle and I have my fence right here that I'm gonna push my um, 
pieces through. Now, this step you don't have to do because you can leave them blocked like this. I've seen them in a block like this, and uh, that's fine. But, you know, I thought I wanted to take off this little bit of a uh, edge to make it a little bit softer, to make it kind of look more like a pumpkin, even though it can't look like a pumpkin, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to run through this. And please, you got to be really careful and use this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, stay laser focused. <laughs> So, you see what I did? I just took off the corners so that it gives it a little bit of a softer edge. So that when I paint it, and I can darken these edges right in here to make it look like those lines in the pumpkin. Okay, so that's this step. So, next step is I'm going to give them an initial coat of orange. And I had this Krylon orange in the garage. And I'm going to use that because what else am I going to use that orange paint for? And then I'll just highlight it with a darker color orange as well. And you know what? It's, it never fails. Whenever I'm going to spray paint outside, it's windy. Always. Always. So hopefully it doesn't go all over the place. Three coats later, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to leave it like this. I'm probably going to highlight it a little bit, I think. I'm going to try and see what that looks like by highlighting it. I uh, took, I cut this off of a, um, a tree and I'm going to cut these into pieces to make the stems for the top of the pumpkin. Alright, so I cut my uh, pieces into uh, usable sizes and you can see what I'm going to do is hot glue them like that onto the pumpkins. Um, I think they sell this in um, the Dollar Tree, I think, like, something like this. I, I didn't see it in, in our Dollar Tree, but it's easy to do. You just have to cut it. All right, so I'm just putting some highlights on. I'm just taking some brown paint here, and I'm going into this area right here that I cut on the angle. So you can see it just gives it a little bit of highlight, and then I went around the top with it as well. So, and when it dries, it's giving it a little bit of that, you know, how the pumpkin looks in the grooves, kind of like that uh, more whitish area. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll move on. Okay, so I'm going to put one of these together for you. Um, so what you're going to need is you need your, your 4x4 that you painted. And I'm using floral wire to make those, you know, the uh, spinny things, those curly cute things that attach the pumpkin on the vine. Um, I have some of these Dollar Tree leaves right here. I have some Dollar Tree uh, moss, that reindeer moss. And I have some Dollar Tree, this... Hey, I don't know what they really call it. And um, it makes a mess, but, you know, the broom cleans it up. And my um, branch that I cut, remember, into pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my branch. I'm going to use hot glue like that. And I'm just going to put him right there like that. And I chose this to be my front you know, obviously, uh, you know, I'm going to use it that one side is basically the uh, what you're going to see. But if you can have it in an area that it's everywhere, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's, you know, all the way around anyway. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I didn't have pipe cleaners, that uh, green pipe cleaners. So I'm using this flora wire. And uh, what I did was I made, I made it already, but I can't find where it is. Okay, I, it's just right here. Okay, so I made this. Uh, curly Q thing and I'm going to hot glue that right to the base of the stem. The 
fire engines are passing by. Do you hear them? Okay, so the uh, I just have to hold it a couple of seconds. And um, you need help over there, Mary? And um, just wanted to stand up in. Uh, not done yet. Okay, so. Let me pause you a second. All right, so next thing is I'm going to take a few of these leaves and I'm just going to, you know, randomly place them on my pumpkin. Now, I'm doing every one a little bit different. You know, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. You can make everything look the same. You can make everything look different. But um, I I'm doing all of them a little bit different. Just so it looks more natural. Not that a wooden square pumpkin is anything but natural. But um, so I d I'm doing that up on the top. So I'm going to now, can you see that? I'm just going to take some of this uh, moss right here. And I'm gonna place that down here. Maybe some on the side is where I'm gonna have them. You're gonna see the sides of them, not the back. And more a little bit here. Okay. Can you see that? That, okay. Then I'm going to take some of this uh, straw here. And I'm just kind of like gather it together like that. And place it here. Burn my fingers. Uh, I'm, I'm not Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home with her glue gun. She's a master with her glue gun. Me, not so much. I get burnt all the time. Um, and I'm going to put a leaf down here. And see? So, I mean, you can do more or less, whatever you, whatever you like. I think I'm going to put another leaf right over here. And there's one of the pumpkins like that. See? All right. And I'm going to show you all of them as soon as I finish them. All right, so there is a set of three of them, and I actually saw these online with a piece of raffia tied around them for $55. So, I mean, it's, uh, you know, similar to it. Actually, I think mine look a little bit better, to tell you the truth. Um, and there is the, the rest of the pumpkin patch right here. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I'm going to do the same process using... Uh, the blocks but to make acorns and if you do Halloween decorations I'm not going to do it because I don't do Halloween stuff but uh, you know they're very easily paintable like I just made this little diagram like you could do like that kind of a face on here and then I was thinking like you know you could make it like uh, the mama and the two kitties here. You could put like the, these eyes looking down and then these looking here and these looking up like that, you know, like that. So, you know, that's j just something like that you could do. And I mean, just use your imagination as actually you can do a lot, a lot of things with these. And in fact, I saw um, somebody decoupaged uh, sunflowers all over them and they looked really nice too. So, you know, let your imagination go. I cut these pieces at about three and a quarter inches tall and I'm going to make these into acorns. Yep, acorns. 
Okay, so the same principle as the pumpkins, I'm going to try to make acorns. So I have these four inch blocks right here and then I stained them brown. And what I'm going to be using is this twine to make the topper. And just like with the pumpkin, I'm going to use a twig as a little stem on the top. So as you can see, I hot glued my stem to the top of my acorn. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the twine and I'm going to start here. Just want to let it get stuck. Ouch, just burnt my hand again. And um, I know, I. I I know somebody out there is saying, oh, I need those little uh, rubber things for my fingertips, but you know what, I don't really, I'm not a crafter, basically, so, um, and I probably will lose them anyway, to tell you the truth. So anyway, um, I'm going to start there, like you say, I just started the attachment, and then I'm going to start coming around, but it's, it's not stuck yet. So just hold on a second. Okay, so as you can see, what I did was I just started uh, hot gluing my twine on top here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue down the side only to, you know, maybe a quarter of a way down here. Just so it looks like that little cap that's on top of the acorn. So I'll show you uh, how that looks. So all I do is I, you know, I put some glue and then I bring the twine and I put a little bit of glue and bring the twine and I keep going around. And I don't think you really have to see me do that. Okay, so there's the pine cone, uh, the uh, acorns right there, and um, I just, you know, put this together really quick. This is not where it's going to be, but um, I just wanted to show you. So, um, I, I mean, they're a little bit uh, fat. They're big acorns, but um, I think, you know, it's it's just the thought of it. And uh, there are the uh, the trio of pumpkins, the three different sizes. So. Um, I hope you liked this uh, little DIY. Uh, if you did, drop me a comment. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like or what you might do with this uh, or how you might uh, do this differently. Um, or just if you want to say hello, that's great too. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. It will help my channel out and help me get... Uh, out there so a few more people might be able to subscribe to my channel. Um, also you can look at look for me on Facebook at Designs by Joe or on Instagram at Designs by underscore Joe. Okay everybody, I hope everybody's doing well and I'll be seeing you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.